bitch fam. It's your girl T here. Coming at you to talk. Story time. Made a great big unhealthy salad. All the ones, so it was something quick and easy. It's, <laughs> it's covered in cheese. It's nothing but cheese on top of it. And um, it's cheese French dressing and then the iceberg lettuce and the um, in the bag. Yeah, well I can figure out what I'm trying to say. But um let's take a bite of this. Oh well. Can't see it, but anyway. Yeah. The mood I'm in. A salad's probably what I need because I'm half tempted to go to a fast food place, Burger King, and get a veggie burger combo. Because I'm not in a good mood. So today's topic is going to be why am I all alone 99.9% of the time and I have a baby daddy. Well, okay. We will give credit when credit is due and we'll take it away when I know it's due. So my baby daddy works three jobs one is his personal business and then the other two he actually you know reports in to an evening job and then he works a night job he's home on Monday evening Tuesday evenings and then he's home Friday all day Friday is his off day so I'm home by myself all the time. His third job, he has his own business. And he goes out. Oh, I went in his computer and I got one of his business cards. He went out. He goes out and, okay, somehow, I must have lost the card. I have to go get another one. But anyway, so, he goes out and he films rock videos. He is um, doing weddings, you know, senior pictures. And this is some of the stuff that I just heard him talk about. And uh, let's let's get this straight, though. He edits these little young guys who want to grow up to be rappers, or if that's, what this, if that's what they do for in their free spare time. I don't know. I'm not knocking them. They're doing more than me. So this is about my baby daddy, not about them. But um, he goes out and he films them, <clears throat> and when he's off, because you know sometimes there's a break in time where he's not either filming a video or editing a video. And he's just sitting in his computer room, um, just doing nothing. Now, on days when I know that he's not really busy, or if I ask for a couple minutes of his time, he doesn't give it to me. We've been together for 23 years. From day one until now, nothing has changed. When I ask him to go out with me, he makes it sound like it's a task. It's a job. It's, oh gosh, you know, I really have to go out with you. So, I pretty much stay at home. Or I ask my mom to go with me. Or if my daughter and the baby comes over, then, you know. I'll go out soon, but most of the time I'm here by myself. Like now, it's Friday. He's not even here. And he's not out filming the video. 
Well, he didn't tell me he was going to film a video. So I'm just sitting here in the house. My daughter said she's not coming over with the baby. <laughs> I just spit food in my hair. My daughter said she's not coming over with the baby because they're going to go shopping. And, I, you know, I can go out with them, but I'm still in the process of trying to get the house ready for Turkey Day. Because this year I decided to have everybody come to my house. Turkey Day, so everyone's going to be here for Turkey Day. But just advice from you women, even from men, I don't care who you are, just no kids because you can't give me no advice. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you do when your other half, whether it be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife? Um, what do you do when they neglect in giving you, or they, not neglect, neglect you, don't want to give you any attention? I guess that's how you would say it, right? Because that's what's going on. I went out, and I went out and joined the gym. So I got a gym membership now. That gives me entertained. That gives me something to look forward to. Um... Why did I join the gym? One, because I'm fat, overweight. I need to lose some weight. Now, oh, by the way, this cut is, you see it a lot. I hold it a lot. I don't know why Minnie Mouse is like my favorite. Um, though my grandbaby's side of the room in Minnie Mouse. And then we'll eventually do her playroom upstairs in Minnie Mouse. Drinking water, pink lemonade at that. Probably can't even get the focus in, but yeah, yeah. See, pink lemonade water by Crystal Light. But um, what do you all do? Or give me advice. What would you do in my situation where I get no attention, no affection? Don't even ask about the adult things that may go on because <laughs> that doesn't happen. He works nights. But I joined the gym just to get me in shape. I need to lose some weight. My current weight is more than what I want it to be. So, I normally go to the gym about, I'm going to go pretty late. I mean, like, late. Um, Because I like being in the gym by myself. With me being as big as I am, I'm not going to lie. I <laughs> feel like there's nobody else want to see me if I don't want to see me. So, I pretty much go late when there's, like, least amount of people in there. I'm getting full. And I haven't even put a dent in it. There's like as much as I've ate of it. I've eaten maybe a fourth of this salad. But, um, he came and picked me up last night from the gym because my daughter dropped me off. And when he came and picked me up, sorry, that's my cell phone vibrating. But, um, when he came to pick me up, he got mad because I asked him to come pick me up from the gym because I, I didn't drive my car. And yes, I have driver's license and yes, I can drive. I just chose not to drive. I know he was coming that way anyway. And I knew we needed to go to the grocery store to pick up some more stuff for Thanksgiving. So. You know, I went ahead and asked my daughter to drop me off. And when he picked me up, he had an attitude. And I'm just like, why? It was on your way home. So, I mean, why the attitude? So there was uh, these two guys in the gym working out. I said, oh well, you know. I didn't know him. I wasn't talking to him. 
when I do dress up, well, not dress dress up, because <laughs> I rarely dress up, but when I do, like, do my hair and put on some decent clothes. For some reason, my camera is acting up. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, I don't even remember where I left off at, so this video may <laughs> be the most randomest, choppy 25 subject vlogs I've ever done. But, um, back to what I was saying, I don't remember the last thing I was saying, but back to what I was saying. Um, I got a gym membership, and like I said, I look forward to going to the gym. I will post my weight. Ugh, the bad thing. My weight is ridiculous. I want to lose like like a hundred pounds. The last time I stepped on the scale. 100 pounds would be great. I lose 100 pounds and I'll be at goal weight. My goal weight, this is two ish on the low side of two ish. So it's under, a little bit under 100 pounds I need to lose. Actually, it's like, I want to say like 90 something pounds I need to lose, so, which ain't bad. I said I wanted to lose by our, our anniversary, but. For what I'm not going anywhere, he doesn't take me anywhere. If you want to say the last time we went out, we want to consider it going out. Last night we went to the grocery store. Hold on one second, my daughter's calling. Okay, I'm back. She's sailing. <laughs> Her car sometimes doesn't like to call me, I don't know why. She's like, I tried to call you, my car was like, it didn't recognize your name, and I was like. That's that's what happens when you don't have the the common name, right? Like I was saying, if you want to consider the last night going to the grocery store as an outing, then that was our last outing. I asked him, and I texted him, and asked him if he wanted to go out to eat today. I didn't get no response back. <laughs> okay. The reason why I sit and eat the salad, right? The unhealthy salad, I thought. Ranch dressing. I think my favorite dressing. It's not just one. My top dressing is ranch and zesty Italian. Those are like my top two go-to dressings. I don't do ranch on everything, but I do. I, I do it on phases. Like, oh, I did the the Hidden Valley. I think that's what it was. The Chipotle Southwest Ranch. It is good, especially on the chick nuggets by um, Morningstar. Or the corn dogs by Morningstar. My Boca burgers. That is my go to meal for home. Love it. But, um, anyway, so. Much what I was saying. I thought I was full, but I keep making myself eat this all. Because if I stop eating it, I will not probably finish it, but I'll waste it. But anyway, so he doesn't, he doesn't do anything with me, really. He may, what, bring me breakfast in the morning when he's switching jobs. Not in the morning, but that's what he normally do. And um, if I tell him I don't want to eat out with him, he'll get mad. 
maybe I'm just not in the mood to eat out that morning. Like, he caught me one day last week. And it was like 8.30 in the morning. And he's like, was you asleep? What are you doing? I was like, I was asleep. He's like, why are you still asleep? It's 8.30 in the morning. I was like, um, one, I was up all night coloring. Two, in the process of coloring, I was up all night cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the dining room, getting stuff rearranged and moved around so that, that like I said, the house can see everybody. Um, yeah, doing laundry. I was playing with the dog. And, um, he got mad. Mm, I don't care. I really don't. I mean, you don't do anything with me, and when I do do something, you want to get mad. So, what do you do? But anyway, like I said, sorry. This video is choppy on subjects. It's like jumping from subject to subject. I just wanted to come on and talk because I'm home alone and do a mukbang basically. A mukbang. However you say it. I know I said it wrong and feel free to correct me. My first one is that. But I just wanted to come on here and talk. Do a little bit of venting I guess. But yeah. Leave your comments below please. And let me know what you all do or what, what should I do. Should I say something to him? Should I bring him to his attention that he spends no time with me? Or should I just chop it up and be like, he works three jobs. I mean, granted, he is how I get <laughs> everything I have, all my unboxings and stuff. Yeah, but, cause I don't work. I can work. I have a pharmacy degree. I am a licensed pharmacy tech. <laughs> but after my car accident, I just pretty much sat back and waited for my body to finish healing. And now I'm just sitting here chilling. But yeah, hold on. Let's correct it before y'all go jump to conclusions and be like, use it in the home. You're not doing anything and blah, 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 blah. Let's correct this. I went to school to be a certified pharmacy technician. I was offered a scholarship to go on to a college here that's like 45 minutes to an hour away from here to finish my pharmacy and go in for pharmacists. But I chose not to do that because I feel like my age, it's not the time to go back to school. Like I'm done with school. I got to be pharmacy certified, nationally licensed all the way through. So yeah, but um. Okay, I'm back. My SD card was full, so I had to delete some footage off of it. But, um, back to what I was saying. And also refill my cup. Um, but yeah, he was. I remember that he was raised to, um, by his mother, like I said. And he thinks that the woman should stay home. And do the house cleaning and all the other stuff. Take care of the kids and da da da. Don't get me wrong. At the time when the kids were little, that was fun. Then I got tired of it once they got in school. I was like, I'll go back to work. So I went back to work. First, it was hit and miss because we thought fast food was the type of work that I could do. <laughs> I'm not a fast food worker. I give credit, props, whatever you want to all the fast food workers out here. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. One, I'm not fast enough. I wasn't moving fast enough. For two, I don't have patience. And for three, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I couldn't do fast food. I just, I just couldn't. So. I did um in home care. I did it for mm, 
I want to say I did it for like eight years. But I'm going to have to make this video short to make, go ahead and end it because my battery is saying it's low. So, but um, I did that for about eight years. So I did in home care for eight years. Then I went to school while working and got my medical assisting, medical administrative, basically. Administrative was front and back office. Um, and then I took a break, came home. I raised our dog, basically, um, to where she is fully paper trained. She knows where she can and can't go in our house. Um, our house is three stories. We have a fully finished basement mid-level then upper levels like a full apartment that is my daughter's whenever she comes home um well part of it would be to the grandbaby now since she had a baby but um yeah so now i'm home for my car wreck and <clears throat> i don't think he's really pushing for me to go back to work but he doesn't he doesn't want to spend any time with me i don't understand like I don't get no time at all but anyway I hope you all enjoyed my story and my mukbang 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 whatever you want to call it actually in between time I had eaten almost all of the salads where this is what's left of it <laughs> and I will probably finish this off before the night's over it's already getting late it's like 7 30 so I'll finish off this last little bit. I can't tell if it's focusing or not. But yeah, that's what's left. So um you all leave your comments below. Thumbs up this video. Like. <laughs> I always forget this part. Um hit that bell notification so you know my next video is coming up. And my next tea time will be I don't know we'll have to figure it out but stay tuned and you will know subscribe thumbs up and remember peace love